Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I'm going to play Tennis World Tour for my as my first video. And as you can see, I'm ranked number nine, so I have played. Uh, I have played for a while already, so uh, I'm uh, level 30. So I think that's the max level. So which is uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I see I'm level 30, and. Um, Let's uh, go over the tournament bracket because this tournament I already played one uh, one match and uh, I played against uh, Moore, the number 19 and uh, yeah, it was uh, quite an easy game, 6-2, 6-love and 6-1 and as you can see I'm playing the number 17 uh, rank now and uh, as you can see in uh, the next game I could be facing number 1, Zverev, well that is if I if I win the match which is very important um, yeah I basically uh, from the moment that I started playing I uh, won uh, all matches and uh, the only match that uh, I've lost so I didn't win all matches I lost one match I, won, I lost against uh, Mon, uh, Monfields and that's very interesting because he is number 31 and I lost uh, and uh, I lost against him after I won from Goffin and uh, he's the number six and I, I totally mm, wiped the floor with that guy. So that's really interesting. And um, the reason is, the reason is that Monfils, the Monfils, or whatever how you pronounce it, uh, has a very high stamina. I think he has something like 145 or something like that. And at that time I had like 100, low hundreds, very low hundreds. So the first set was something like 7-6 in, uh, in my advantage, so I won the first set. Yeah, and after that it was over. I mean, I was just broken. I was, I was so tired and you could see every ball that I hit, I hit out and uh, I couldn't run anymore, you know, agility, everything is gone. And so it's very important that if you play against somebody with a high stamina that you keep the rallies as short as possible. And uh, yeah, vice versa, when you have the highest stamina, you want, to, you want to play long rallies and you want to make him run. You always want to make him run, but uh, in that case, it doesn't matter if you run a little bit yourself too. And I found that uh, playing a drop shot is often the best remedy to make somebody run and also to score points. And it's a little bit of a cheat, to be really honest, because I don't think in real life that it will be so difficult to do drop shots, but um, yeah, okay. Okay, enough talk, so uh, let's get it on. I'll, I'll wait one second, I just want to show you one thing else see as you can see here I changed all um, uh, no you cannot see it because you haven't seen it before but uh, before I had a lot more attack it was way more balanced right so I could have attack 12 and defense 12 and maybe serve and volley 6 something like that but I changed that so I changed that more to the defense it's not because I'm a defensive player but it's because I wanted to get my stamina up and as you can see my stamina is now 136 and my control is 136 and I think those uh, are the most important uh, in this game right now so uh, I don't think this game is well balanced yet I mean I don't think that all the attributes uh, uh, let's say that that a, a back end of only 86 doesn't hurt you as much as it should basically that's that's what I'm trying to say whereas uh, the stamina does by the way but uh, yeah, so I think they have a lot of work to do there, but it's okay, can, they can do it, they can make it better. And I just want to have a look at this guy, what's up with him, oh he has a good volley, which is really not important. The only thing that you know is that he, he probably would like to come to the net, so you should have your lobs ready. He's got a lot of power, and his stamina is only 108, so this is somebody that you can just beat uh, on pure stamina, so even if you lose a set, don't worry about it. He's going to get tired faster than you. Just make sure that he runs more than you run or about the same and then still you will be okay. Okay, so that's as much as I know of this game. If you know more, so please let me know. And uh, yeah, I am definitely uh, interested in learning and I'm sure that a lot of people here uh, are playing this game that are a lot better than I am. So yeah, so please let me know. Um, yeah, this button that, that L2 inside out, I've never used that one to be really honest. I, I've tried to use the L1, but uh, I don't have a feeling that it really helps me. 
so I just need to probably get out. Okay. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, difficult, the color, blue. I remember this from the first match. I mean, it's pretty hard to, to see, oy, to see um, the ball, but uh, okay, you have that very often. This ball is yellow, and if you play on a Wimbledon or something like that, it's even harder. But uh, yeah, this looks more like a place where I want to go swimming. Nice. That's good. Like that? I mean, 183 km. That's uh, that's decent. That's pretty decent. But we knew that, and we know that he has a lot of power. I didn't want to make him run right now, but this was a very bad. Let me take a pick. I want to try to lop that. And we want to drop this. Make him run again. Ah, that's it. See, that's what we want basically. We want him to run and we want him to get tired. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, this one, yeah. 15, so I did record a few uh, other games. Uh, but the problem was that uh, my audio is uh, really bad and uh, I asked, uh, God, no, I, forget, I forgot his name, um, excuse me for that, I think his handle is Captain Goodspeed, he's playing, uh, he's playing this game and he's, uh, oh, <coughs> I might want to pay attention to my uh, game, but um, he's playing a series and I think he's at number 28 right now. And I just asked him because his, his audio is pretty good and uh, I cannot get it really. I cannot get it. I cannot get it the way I want it. So what I tried was do uh, just play the game and then afterwards uh, record the voice. But that's just, uh, yeah, plain dumb uh, actually. I mean, uh, it's uh, a lot better when you uh, just do this live. And that was a nice serve, serves. That was uh, nice play by him. But I'm, I'm okay with a little bit of resistance at the beginning. Uh, you just got to break your spirit and that's basically... Uh, Basically, what I'm trying to do at the beginning is just make him tired, and and once that's done, then afterwards it's uh, basically a walk in the park because, uh, yeah, they're not gonna try to 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 get certain balls anymore. You know, they just let it go because they know they can make it. Be it's just like real life. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so I played a little bit of tennis. Well, actually, I played many years. But, uh, um, the, oh God, I don't know why. Uh, the, the first thing that I learned basically was uh, not to stand at the place where he's standing all the time. That's about 30 centimeters in front of the baseline on the court. Make him run again, then. Well, this is interesting. Advantage. 
and it's Duke. Mm, yeah, but I, I just don't want to give it to him. Oh, yeah, 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 my anticip anticipating is really bad. Break point. See, like he's standing like this 30 centimeters in, inside the court. And then, yeah, you have to take advantage of that. Yeah, my service uh, has gotten uh, it's gotten really good. Basically, the beginning was very uh, horrible, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the timing is so important, and uh, there's a different ways you can do it. You can uh, hit, to hit the ball early or hit the ball late, and depending on how you do it, you have to get your stick down or up. Uh, sounds a little bit weird if I say it like that, maybe, but um, and drop it here. Yeah. I haven't hit a lot of aces, and I had one player hit a ball out. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous, like an unforced error. Only one, uh, besides the double double faults, obviously. I mean, in all the games that I played, I mean, that is just ridiculous. Uh, that is just really, really, really weird. And, and this drop shot, basically, that must be uh, that must be a glitch. Uh, I call it a glitch, a bug in the uh, in this game, or it's something that's not good. I mean, it's so easy to do this. Uh, it's so easy to get your points like that. And it's really the way you want to get your points if you play against somebody with a lot of stamina, because you wanna, like I said, you wanna keep those rallies as uh, short as possible. You see the difference where he's standing. That was quite now he's just standing behind the baseline. And um, you see that throughout the game that they changed, they changed their gameplay. And you really have to anticipate that. And you can anticipate that in your own strokes. Uh, will you hit slices, top spin, or, or just flat? So far, yeah. Was quite yeah. If he keeps doing like this, he's oh, gonna be goodness. broken already in the after the first set. Oh, my mistake. Sometimes you just, I, I'm, I'm running behind this, but it's kind of lucky, because sometimes you just have to say, let it go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like Nadal, right? Keep running. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, I don't know what the reason is, uh, why he doesn't even swing at it. So, somebody could tell me that. In this case, he, he didn't that break a bit he didn't swing break. again. And I was just pressing X repeatedly and finally he did something. Okay, let's try a slice all the way to the left. Okay, you see the difference with this one? My, my uh, serve, his return, and then my stroke. Uh, if I would have dropped it, it would have been my point immediately, and that's uh, what I'm trying to 
to say that that uh, sometimes it's better to do that instead of trying to make the point because once they have, if they have a lot of stamina, they can keep running, and they will just get that ball, and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, wow. he gives up now, so he's done. He's done for. May I be so bold and say that? How can he hit so hard? Okay, let's try top spin center. You see those, that that ball? It was practically on the line. It was a. It was. It was not a soft surf. It was a. It was a 177. So you would think, well, chance on ace. But the only aces that I've hit were not like uh, when the ball was on the line, <coughs> but more like, uh, yeah, let's say 30 centimeters from the center line. Yeah. And um, hmm, I think maybe it has to do with speed. And, um, but uh, yeah, this was so fast that uh, I don't know why that wasn't an ace. Yeah. See? Wow. He's done. He's already broken. Yeah, let's make him run here. And I thought he would come to the net. And now you gotta do you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> it's like a cheap, right? That drop shot. It's like a cheap, but um, yeah. What else? You have to do it. <clears throat> nice, but I, I, I don't know. Great sir. It's 174, right? Uh, it's not super fast. Sometimes you uh, you want to try to uh, to uh, slice a little bit and uh, and play uh, short balls and just get him to come into the court. That gives you a great opportunity to. So that's what I was waiting for for him to come to the net. <coughs> that's his his folly nature to do that. You see that he changes his, his game right now. He, this is the first time he came to the net. So he's trying something different. Oh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you see, that's a glitch. I mean, that 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 is a glitch. I mean, this is... This is just a, see, I'm, I'm basically there. Yeah, it's just a glitch. <clears throat> That's something that I have to fix. Yeah, I like to watch uh, Captain Goodspeed. Uh, I watch the, uh, I watch pretty much the series, and um, he's at number 28 now, I, I, I believe. And uh, he plays Wimbledon, I think. And uh, yeah, he lost the game, but uh, I think he lost the game because his his player is tired and he didn't give him any rest. And uh, he started to playing a Grand Slam without without a, a fit player. I mean, yeah, and he's uh, not a level 30 yet at that moment. So uh, yeah, I think that uh, if you want to play that, you got to be really well rested, and he wasn't. So I think that's and you could see that after the first set that. Um, the sets afterwards, uh, yeah, the ball goes out all the time, and, and, and yeah, that's not that has to do with his play being tired and cannot get a good shot out. That's why the ball goes out instead of on the line. Yeah. Two chances.
So let's try the inside. 170. That's not fast enough. Okay. Let's see what this stroke was. Oh. That was a drop shot. All right, so uh, his first serve 100%, me 92%, which is really high. Uh, obviously, 100% is higher. <laughs> yeah, he's got seven aces, which is awesome. He's got uh, two winners, only two winners, and I got 38. He got three. Oh, sorry, I got three on four serves. He's got zero, as usual, as usual. I don't know what it is uh, with that, but that's uh, clearly a bug that they have to fix. Okay, anyway, I hope uh, it worked out this time, uh, not like the last time when everything went wrong. And um, yeah, and uh, we'll just cut it here and uh, I'll just see you at the next, uh, next one.